let's get this show on the road. Hello YouTube, my name's uh, Derek. I'm going to start my channel off with a video of a game I play every day at the moment. It's not a simulation. The FS in FS Derek, as you probably guessed, stands for Flight Sim, which is my main uh, interest. But uh, this, there's very few people who won't recognise that this is uh, World of Tanks. And uh, it's a great game. I love it. It's prob you can probably tell it's unmodded. And uh, so, you know, you put yourself at a disadvantage if you don't install the, the easier mods. But uh, I play this all the time. I, well, I play this every day. I've got a win ratio of about 40%, which is rubbish. But for everybody who... Um, like Quickie Baby who makes uh, Quickie Baby who makes videos about World of Tanks who's got a win ratio of 60%. This has to be someone who's got a win ratio of 40. So he plays for the win side, so just play for the fun. So here I'm in the tank I like a lot. It's T34. I don't own a lot of tanks. I think I've got about four or five tanks. And uh, this is a uh, one you had to buy this one. It's um, but but it's more than repaid itself in terms of the amount of times I've driven it but uh, again I haven't I'm not one of those people that's done 20,000 games I've, I've probably not even done two but I still find it a lot of fun so here we are on uh, Corellia not using the premium ammo on this tank because it's got such a punch you don't really need to replay buttons on this are not uh, there aren't there aren't that many uh, options on the bog standard replay I suppose there are there'll be replay replayers that probably got more functionality than the, the bog standard WOT one but there's a big battle going on in the uh, bottom left hand corner and I'm sort of on the edges of it I'm just seeing if I can snipe anything but um, which is the best tactic for me really um, but uh, can't see anything much and so I'm sort of in two minds here about whether to go forward and sort of pile in and possibly win the encounter or back off. And uh, being like a pretty uh, inexperienced player, my, in my initial reaction is to dive in. But uh, on this occasion, should have possibly had a go at sniping that Coppola there. Should have been a bit quicker. Anyway, I think I'll get a shot off. So I'm still, um, I'm still in two minds. The, the, the green team's pretty spread out. We've got a large force on the top right, and we've got a, a lot of tank destroyers in the middle, hoping they can, they can sort of snipe a few tanks. I'm not getting much in the way of um, visibility here because uh, they're all the other side of this rock. So I've decided that uh, discretion is going to be the best part of valor here, and I'm just going to bug out. And sure enough. I think I did it just about in time because I got I got spotted there and I got a shot, so I'm off. Now this is not. Don't think that I always run away from battles because I don't. In fact, quite the opposite. But um, I've seen the, uh, the the better guys and they tend to um, they don't get killed in the first couple of minutes. You know, <laughs> live, run away, live to fight another day. That's their motto. So I'm, I'm pretty exposed here because I'm climbing this slope, which makes me slow. And uh, and I've just about got away. No, no, I felt a bit bad about leaving those tanks behind. I've still got some uh, some engine damage on the way back, but at least this is a pass I can defend. And I'm rather hoping to go and join those tank destroyers. That, uh, that little guy there was a scout and. Uh, Probably was a big mistake if he is to try and scout after me. The my it's T34, the gun's got more than enough punch to um, dispose of him on such low health. Anyway, so we, we're faced with a big slope here and an engine that's not working. So with the big guns, um, <laughs> you can tell I'm running away because all the bullet holes are in the back. But uh, it's a big old heavy tank and. Uh, I don't like using the repair pack on it because it usually turns, I mean, you know, you can say a victory is is a, as defined in terms of you shooting all the tanks or, or it can be a victory in terms of not losing any money. I think for a lot of people just not losing any money is a victory. And the repair packs on these big tanks are expensive. 
But anyway, I figured I'm, I'm going to get caught running up the slope if I don't get out and fix the engine. So I fixed the engine and, and anyway, I'm up the top. So I'm thinking this is pretty good. Again, thinking defensive, you'll notice I'm driving forwards and looking backwards, which is a, a good configuration for those of us who are running away. Um, so I'm thinking, OK, I'm not going to get surprised up here because anything that comes up is going to take its time, just as I did. And it's quite, it's a good, it's quite a dominant position from the tank's point of view, this um, plateau. That uh, ally took a look at, one look at me and then decided to go down the slope. I don't know, I mean, I'll, possibly I should have said to him, it's not such a wise idea. I'm going to go and see what I can see from up here, because as I say, I'm not really worried about being surprised by tanks on the left flank now. The way these maps are designed, obviously, as soon as, as, soon as uh, someone discovers a decent sniping spot, they put a big rock in the way, so they've, they've put a big rock in the way of... Um, your ability to snipe across to the left there. You find if you play well the tanks that the the players are, although nominally the objective is to capture the uh, the flag, far more people go for uh, just eliminating all the enemy tanks. And so this force, which was in the southwest corner, is now uh, now proceeding away from the flag, but past the the uh, base one and should arrive uh, at the bottom of this slope and in time now <clears throat> so I'm going to dig in behind this uh, bit of rock here I as well put some of my undamaged forward facing off <laughs> to the enemy <laughs> and sure enough there we go bang on cue now, he's, he's spotted me, but he's only on 9% health, so he's in big trouble. Uh, that's, he's hit the old armour, that's a, someone else has had a pop at me, but now he can't reload and, and toast. So the score at this stage is 12-10, so there are only three enemy tanks left, and uh, we've got five. Now, our, our, and we can see two of them there are um, near the uh, flag, so I'm going to go... It's, it's a bit of a trek. I've only got two minutes to go. So, um, really, we have to eliminate these three tanks. Because there's not much chance of a cap in the time left. So it's all, it's really all guns to, uh, to hand to see if we can't, uh, see what we can do in terms of elim eliminating. Now, one of them's already gone, so we're, still, we're looking pretty good. But there's still two to go, and we've got a minute 33 to find them. And I'm still a way, way away, way away. So this is where I'm really pleased I repaired the engine. So we're going to make a beeline for it, really. Just going to go straight. Uh, there's no, there's no other way at this point. And still no sign of them. A minute and eleven. There's one of them. There's a rock in the way. Anyway, so he's taken some damage, and there's the other one. So. There's the two of them. Now it's two on two with me coming up. <clears throat> We've got someone in the capture zone. But again, at this point, probably not that relevant. So we've lost the visibility on one. Still two left. No, and I'm closing in there. I should get a shot on one or one of them. Now one of them's gone. That's great. And what do you know? There's the other one. 27 seconds, 26. And good night to you. <laughs>